that for real. Hey everybody, we're here with Stamps quarterback Bo Levi Mitchell who has been nice enough to invite us into his home because he wants to show off his sneaker collection. I do. Bo, this is awesome. Thank you for having us. Uh, let's get let's, Well, first let's off, I'd say it. welcome to the team. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, good it's good to, to have you. Yeah, very newly renovated. Uh, before y'all got here, every single shoe was literally just on the floor. So uh, Madison said uh, it's time to get this, this place looking good. So we uh, got some neons, got some... Um, some hanging shelves there and honestly there's still too many pairs so I have some boxes just hanging around as well. It looks unreal. Uh, let's start at the beginning. Where and when did your love for sneakers begin? So it's a bit of a funny weird story. So I used to get make, made fun of as a kid for the shoes I wore. I didn't realize the shoes I wore were you know like off-brand. Okay. Um, <laughs> so some buddies used to make fun of me. Who, they're now buddies but they used to make fun of me for the shoes I used to wear and then I was like in my head I was like one day and they all had Jordans right so I was like one day I was like I'm gonna buy every pair of Jordans that I can. So uh, this is kind of like an ode to that and um, probably a bad way to start an addiction but uh, definitely has has grown. Which is the most expensive pair? Uh, that'd be these right here. So these are uh, Jordan UNC Off-Whites. Um, Virgil Abloh, he is the uh, creator of Off-White, so he just passed actually. Um, so all the prices got jacked up, so a lot of people sold theirs. But um, yeah, these three right here are all Off-Whites, but my best friend really is the one that really got me addicted to shoes. Um, we went to a store called Riff San Francisco, and I bought those for, I won't say the price. Um, so these are called Nike Self Status. Uh, this is a store in New York. Um, I would say these are probably my favorite. Uh, I just love the pink shoes now. I love the accent with the pink there. So this is strawberry milk and this is chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the flu games are probably one of the very first pairs that I bought. Um, once I became a CFL player, actually, I actually had enough money to afford some shoes finally. I probably wasn't actually able to afford them, but uh, I bought them anyways. Right. And uh, yeah, I'd say those are ones that kind of made me feel like, okay, I, I've started my collection here. These guys, Maddie got me um, 30th birthday or the, no, actually it might be my first Grey Cup. She's gonna get mad at me for not knowing. <laughs> okay, we need you to explain this shoe because Bo wasn't quite sure of the details. Yes, and I could hear him a little bit. They were his 30th birthday present. They so, were his Yeah, 30th. he was okay. right. Yeah. So <laughs> this was your gift to him. Yeah, Bo really got me into sneakers. I wasn't a huge sneaker person before. I have the Toms here just reminiscing from college. Can you, know? you pull those out? Actually, yeah, these are, pretty, the these are pretty worn. Yeah. These are from like 2010. <laughs> They're great. But this was my shoe game pre-Bo, <laughs> um, so he helped me out a bit. <laughs> How often do you actually wear these? They look they look pretty sparkly and new. <laughs> sparkly. Like, like I, I don't it. know if you wear um, these that often, do you? I would never, no, I would never no, put those never. on. Um, there's definitely some that I definitely just stock. Um, so uh, one of the popular like shoe sayings is like rock or stock. Like, are you gonna rock them? Like, are you gonna wear them? Are you gonna stock them? Um, a big thing with sneakerheads nowadays is, is stop buying shoes just to sell them. So for me, I'm trying to wear a lot more of them. Uh, there's definitely a lot in here I wear like. I wear the Derek Jeters, I wear the Levi's, uh, I wear the social statuses, but um, and everything in there I wear. So it's been uh, it's been fun because it's it's when you see another shoe head, you know, it's kind of like saying like you see if you drive a Jeep, you see another girl driving a Jeep, you kind of like you know, oh hey, <laughs> right. So for me, it's it's kind of the same. It's, when you see somebody's shoes, you always compliment them right away. Uh, it's always the first thing I notice on somebody. Uh, you and Bo have donated sneakers. Uh, yes. Tell me about that and where the inspiration for that came from. Yeah, so we do Mitchell's Miracle Day every Christmas. Um, it's kind of evolved a lot just as we've evolved. Um, when COVID hit, it kind of changed a lot for us. Um, so we wanted to find a way to give back when we weren't able to actually be face to face with the kids. And if we could give them some winter boots, some new school shoes, that that would be really beneficial for these kids that don't have a lot. Right. And how much do you love dressing up your own kids? Oh, your I love kids? it. It's great. I hate when I pick out a pair of shoes and they're like, mom, those are so uncomfortable. Oh. And I'm like, but they match, you have to do it. Um, but it's so much it. fun. Um, Bo said it's like having my own personal Barbies that I get to dress up. So yes. I think sneakers are a way that you players can express themselves. Absolutely. I mean, I think I think athletes, you know, we all express ourselves in so many different ways. You know, guys are some guys are change jewelry. Some guys are clothes. For me, clothes don't matter. I, I start my outfit with the shoes um, and then just try to match something. I'm usually not very good at it, but uh, 
all the guys, you know, like sometimes my outfits are like, I don't, I don't know what you're wearing, but your shoes are awesome. You need to fix out, fix your outfit. But uh, yeah, I'd say uh, athletes love to express themselves. And, and for me, the way I do it is definitely what's on my feet. If you're up for it, I would love to take you to one of the stores that I actually go to. Uh, they just opened up in Kensington, which is right next to the stadium. Yes, I think that's a fabulous idea. Yeah. Yeah. I need an upgrade on my sneakers for sure. <laughs> so this is called Status. Uh, new spot, but uh, Dev's got all the good stuff. KJ's been telling me about it. And of course, KJ is here shopping already. Dev, what up, man? What's up, baby? How you doing? What's man? going on? This is Welcome the owner status, right here. Man. Yes, sir. Guys for coming in. This is a new spot in Kensington. Uh, Calgary has been needing this, and uh, I'm gonna spend way too much money in this store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first thing is I definitely look to see uh, what catches my eye color-wise, because I'm, I'm just a big color guy. Um, obviously, Air Force Ones always stick out, because that's like what everybody's rocking now. But to me, what Dev did that I always do is I look and see what's on the top shelf. It's just like alcohol, right? You gotta find out what's the stuff that he doesn't want anybody touching. <laughs> you know. I like that strategy. Yeah. Hey, KJ, back here. What are you looking at back here? Already? What up, big hey, dog? So I knew you was pulling up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, KJ, tell me about this spot a uh, week ago. Okay, yeah. so like Kensington is like that. 17th Ave, the Strip. This is like where everybody comes to shop, hit all the good spots, like the bars, the food. Right. This, I love 13s. These are these ones. These ones catch my eye right away. Uh, you don't actually get to see these very often at other places. Like a lot of shoe stores don't even have them. Like you can see them online. Guys are trying to sell them way too much, but these are anything that has pink, any kind of pink accents. I'm always catching my eye right away. I don't like the big bulky shoes. I like small ones that kind of. Fits on my skinny shape, little, little sneaker. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 what are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> and you're right, man. All the other teams that come, like, they always hit us up and they say, like, hey, where are you get your shoes at? I'm like, from your city? Like, yes. Because we don't have a store like this, right. and we finally do, man. So, Dan, appreciate you bringing this out here, man. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't, uh, can't let them know what that is. Nah, y'all gotta. Y'all gotta go. Y'all can't know how much we're spinning over here. <laughs> See y'all, man. 